I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They toss off the line, but I just let it float away Yeah, I let it float away I let it float away I let it float away Float away Previously on Sailing Zatara. After falling out of a tree in Cologne, Panama, Kate luckily ended up with only one broken wrist. However, regardless of being at the hospital all night, we decided to go ahead and continue with our Panama Canal crossing as planned. It was a monumental experience and a time for us to say goodbye to the safety of the Caribbean and begin our Pacific Ocean adventure. We left Panama. It's a full moon tonight, so we got out of La Palita. La Palita? La Palita. La, La, Pilot. La Playita. Right. La Playita. La Playita Marina. <laughs> and we're heading out to uh, meet with our friends in uh, Las Perlas Archipelago. We have friends. We have friends. And they're waiting for us. Hey, that's even more impressive. They would wait for <laughs> us. We've made it to Panama Canal and everything slows down for me. And, and now I'm going to start enjoying the ride. I just want to feel like this forever. I love it when my feet don't touch the ground, touch the ground Don't wanna let these colors fade Kaleidoscopes inside my head Just wanna feel like this Just wanna feel like this forever Hello friend! How are you? The cell you're looking at is the racing cell from North Cell that was on the boat when we bought it. The owner, the previous owner, had taken um, the factory Genoa off and had put his racing cells on. All right, so we tried to flake the cell as we was pulling it down, but that didn't work out too well. But we did it in such a way where it was easy to pull the cell to the side, and we reflaked it again over on the starboard side of the boat. It was our first time to actually flake a sail on the boat. The last time we actually took a sail down was when we were in Fort Lauderdale. It all went well. Everybody chipped in, helped, and folded the sail right up and put it in the bag. The Genoa sail that you're looking at now is the factory sail that came with the boat. And I waited for Dan and Tanda Malika to get there so that they could help us raise it because we had a little bit of wind and it kept catching the sail. And it was the first time we'd ever run a uh, Genoa up the uh, force day. And it ran right up and we got it in. and. The cell looks good and it worked really well going downwind. seven knots speed over ground so we're catching up almost 80% of our uh, 
We're making 80, 90 percent of our uh, They're too speed. Wild. way to go and our friends Tanda Malaika are up there ahead of us getting their spinnaker out because they're trying to go slow so that we can stay with them but their cat goes pretty fast so they're kind enough to slow down a little but I think pretty soon they're gonna take off and leave us in the dust another successful day of sailing Tell me, your, tell me your thoughts. I'm starting to get over my three day sailing hangover. So tomorrow will be a great day because I'll feel really good. But it looks like it might be flat waters tomorrow. Calm seas. Yeah. But well, we've got 377 miles to go. We found us all dolphins. Tanda Malaika gave us the dolphins. Those are the biggest dolphins I've ever seen. The biggest. The biggest. The oh, my Atlanta. The biggest. <laughs> the loudest. Those are some big old hey. dolphins. That's what ever. she said. Where do they go to sleep? Oh, my gosh. Why are you always filming everything? <laughs> This is exactly the reason why I carry a camera around with me everywhere. So you guys can see the reality of what life is like at sea. Everybody in my family gives me a hard time about having a camera a lot. And I think it's important to share the reality of, of what we go through on here. It's not always fun and games. Dorado we caught was the biggest one I've caught so far and uh, I didn't want to let him drag back there because I was afraid something was going to come get him or a shark or something and we wanted some uh, Dorado to eat so I went ahead and got him to the boat and gaffed him and, and he liked to beat me to death trying to get him on the boat. <laughs> there, where do you want it? I don't know, where's that hook at? What hook? What's in your hand? Now? It's gone now! Okay, what hook? The hook I was... Know, I don't want to step on it! Uh, he'll die soon. Yes. Oh, he won't die soon. He won't. Ew, I got blood and guts on my foot. Jack! Jack! Come here! Help! Dad! Here. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get on him. Yeah, hold on. Let's go. Golly! Yeah, fish guts on my foot. Here you go. I'm gonna put it. Put some. Get the other side. Good deal here. Let's 
This Dorado we caught was one of the biggest ones we caught so far and it was so big that my fillet knives wouldn't cut all the way across there and skin it so I ended up chopping it in, in pieces ended up slicing it all up and, and I uh, skinned it and, and pulled the meat off and it took me a couple of times to get good at it where I could leave more meat on there than I was leave, you know where I'd get the most meat out of the deal. The sail to Ecuador was really enjoyable because of Tanda Malaika, another sailboat with a family of six that we hooked up with and have hung out with a lot. What do you think about this buddy boat? I think it's awesome. Have y'all done this before? No. I like it too. It's real enjoyable. I got the safety of another boat. We got other human beings to talk to. We're transferring some children to Tanda Malaika. Hey, watch out for the line. It's gonna be great if y'all miss. This is a thing! <laughs> That's really really great YouTube footage. Yeah. Ladies first. If you're following on the back, you don't know what Thanks. Y'all get the chance. Alright, yeah. go. Come on. Go, Anna, go. Woo! Oh, <laughs> Just big kids. Y'all have big kid fun. <laughs> Where? What are we doing? Um, I am airdropping a video episode 20 something that they're on. So so we, had, we had to get really close to Malika. Court Malika. register. So he's on their phone. <laughs> I'm gonna send some more. I have some good ones, Anna. No, 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 no. no. Send them the most weirdest pictures. There we go. Pot of pilot whales decided to follow along with us. They were so elegant, we actually turned off the engine and Keith jumped in to fulfill a lifelong dream of swimming with whales. Big old pot of pilot wells. It was really neat. Been a great sail down here. I only had to motor for two days, so we'll be there in about three or four hours. Tanda Malika is right with us. Great to have our buddy boat along. get 
get this on video, so we're still technically at the equator, but we all swam around the boat naked. Not all at one time, of course. But it was fun. We crossed the equator. We made it to the southern hemisphere. Malika means guardian, guardian of the of sea, ocean. guardian sea. of the ocean. See, I, don't know. I don't know, but Zatara Literally comes from a movie, uh, The Count of Monte Cristo, and it translates into driftwood. Yeah. <laughs> Not our proudest moment. <laughs> guardian of the sea versus driftwood. Versus driftwood. Who wins? <laughs> Oh, That's going to go on YouTube. Wow. Guys, this is like okay, so... Stop it. Join us next time as we dock and explore Ecuador, and Keith answers lots of your questions. <laughs> <laughs>